Hi, and welcome to Girlfriends Knitting. My name is Carolyn, and I go by Ka Shirley on Plurk and Ravelry. And I probably look weird and sound weird right now because I have a new wonderful addition to my teeth. Can you see? Seems as though um, I have TMD, which is the, a disorder with the joint right here. Um, most people call it TMJ, but J stands for the joint, something I learned recently. And so this is a splint to make my jaw bite down correctly. So especially if you see me at um, Stocking at Zombies or at SSK, you will see this in and hear me talking like a duck. Yay! I'm so embarrassed, y'all. <laughs> the orthodontist keeps assuring me I don't sound as weird to other people as I think I sound. But anyway, so I'm actually going to take it out and I'm probably not going to be wearing it during podcasts. Um, but there you go. So give me just half a second. I'm certainly not going to take it off on camera. Um, and I'll be right back. Yeah, it's not very easy to take out either. So this is me normally. So that's what's been going on with me this week. Um, I also want to send out a huge thank you to the wonderful um, Sinful Cynthia, who sent me this sweet little birthday present in the mail. Um, teacup and teapot stitch markers by... Stitch Cuddle. Love it. And then this adorable stitch counter. It's an electronic stitch counter in pink, of course. And it's the Knitter's Helper. So I got those in the mail. I wanted to send out a huge big thank you. I'm definitely going to be using those on one of my projects that I'm coming up with. Let's go to some FOs. So last week, I showed you my Stocking Knit Zombie Socks, and this week, even though the ends are not woven in in this one, I have a second sock. Yay! Totally finished set of socks. And so this is the um, partying it up and getting down. So I did do both, and I'm very pleased with how they came out. They are not matchy-matchy, but I love them. This pattern is by Megan Williams of Stockin' It Zombies, and the socks were to celebrate, the pattern was to celebrate their potiversary, and the yarn was as well. The yarn is 716 knits in the Why Didn't You Tell Me I Look Like a Crazy Birthday Cake in the Shirt colorway, which cracks me up every time I think about it. And I had tons of yarn left, because I do have a little foot, which is awesome for Stock knitting because it goes quicker and having tons left over. So I am looking forward to making a pop blanket, which was sent to me. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for the, the pop blanket pattern as well. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing with all my little scrappy leftovers. Now we have works in progress. So I didn't get a bunch done this week. I got the socks finished up. Um, because I've been doing a lot of remodeling on my house. And so that's what's been going on. We're getting the outside painted this weekend. And there's some pieces of wood in certain areas because it didn't have gutters where the wood needs to be replaced. And after we get that done, then we're going to look into getting gutters put on, which it needs desperately. Um, and then I've been redoing the two bathrooms. And so... The upstairs bathroom is getting painted this weekend, and so lots have been going on at the house. So I'm very excited about those changes and those renovations that have been way, way overdue. Um, so that's where most of my time and energy has been going. Uh, my friend Verge, who's the one who taught me how to knit, talks about how there is, and of course we're, Verge and I are both mathematicians, and she talks about how there is an inverse relationship between the amount of knitting and the temperature outside. <laughs> so it's the temperature gets warmer, her knitting goes down, and vice versa. 
And I do think that's true for, for many knitters. Um, sometimes with summer, teachers will knit more in the summer because they have more time. This is the first summer in my entire working adult career that I actually do not have the summer off because I'm now an administrator at the college. And I'm both loving it and missing it. I'm, I'm enjoying actually being at work during the summer, which I did not think I would be. But at the same time, I do miss having that time off. So um, it, it's sort of bittersweet. So let me show you what I did get accomplished. And please just forgive me for it being so little. I got another pattern repeat on our blessed little Miss Lottie's blanket for my friend Emily. So it's nine repeats of the pattern and I've gotten six now done and I'm starting on the seven. So this is Jitterbug Yarn in the Monet colorway which means something to Emily and I as well. And the pattern is the Baby Chalice Blanket. I believe this is a free pattern on Ravelry. It calls for a worsted weight yarn and a worsted weight yarn using the correct needles for that weight would make a significantly larger blanket and definitely a nice size baby blanket. But as you know, Lottie was stillborn and so I didn't need a blanket to cover an infant. I needed a blanket as a memento for the, for the child. And so I did it out of a beautiful fingering weight yarn and am using my size 5 Haya Haya interchangeables, which I am in love with. If you ever get a chance to buy them, they're extremely reasonable for the interchangeable set. And I, I just, I feel like you will love them. I just, I am in love with them. So this is progressing along. This weekend being Father's Day is going to be incredibly hard for me. It will definitely be hard for my friend Emily and her husband. So I didn't really intend to make sure it would be done for this weekend. Next weekend I'm going to be at um, at SSK. Not SSK, excuse me, Stuck in It Zombies. Next month will be SSK. I'm so looking forward to both of them. I just can't stand myself. And so I'm actually looking to this be like a July 4th, um, which happens to be Emily's birthday. So that's when I'm kind of planning on bringing this to her. So that's my timeline for that. So I'm not really rushing. And I really am enjoying it. I definitely think I will make this baby blanket again out of a worsted weight yarn. Look, I've got project bags everywhere. So after I finished my stocking at zombie socks, I cast on the socks that I'm going to be bringing with me to um, Zombie Apocalypse. My lovely bag from my sweet friend at Psycho with my lovely Rockstar yarn. I think of it as Rockstar. It's actually Roller Derby Queen is the colorway. It's the Aurora base of Spinning Fates. And this is the yarn that she gave me for um, the swap. And so I definitely wanted to be using it while I was there. And I am in love with it. I cast on, and all I've managed to get done was just the little toe of the sock. And it's on my Haya Haya's. These are not my interchangeable. These are my Haya Haya's <clears throat> 1 2.25 millimeter. And I'm doing um, Emily Do Fancy Pants, um, her vanilla bean pattern, which I think goes great because it puts that little pop of pink up in the black and that little pop of black down in the pink. Love it. So I cannot wait. So these are the socks that I'm taking with me on the journey. And then I had planned on taking this. And I don't have my pattern printed out. Um, and my iPad, which is what I've actually been using as my pattern, is at home. But I bought 
for my birthday from my mom. Ten skeins of empathy. I heard people talk about it, that it was really nice, lightweight yarn for summer sweaters. And I had seen uh, the yarn harlot, Stephanie Pearl McBee, knitting Lizette. And I thought that that would be a very flattering on me little short, lightweight sweater for the late summer, early fall here at school. So I purchased the Hempathy, and Hempathy is what um, Yarn Harlot used for her Lizette. And she used an orange color, and it just looks great on her. Um, and I'm just, I'm really excited about it and hoping that it, mine will look as good on me. Mine is in Egyptian blue. And it's sort of this blue purple. It looks much more purple in person than it does on the screen. On, on the screen, that's the color I saw when I was ordering it. And that's the color I was kind of expecting. And, you know, you know when you're ordering yarn online that it's not going to necessarily be the color that you see on the screen. And so when I got it, it's much more purple than what you see on the screen. Still, I think, looks really good with my complexion, even being the purple. I think the purple actually looks better with my complexion than the blue that you see on screen. Um, and this is one of the borders that I'm knitting right now. So I have to knit this piece until it's gigantically long. And so that's nice, fun, easy little knit. And so I may be bringing this with me to... Um, ZK as well. The needles are again some of my favorite. They're Chowgu Red Lace in size. What I love about these needles is the size are written on them. Size 4, 3.5 millimeter. I love needles that have the size like that written on them. So that is another project that I cast on and did very little on because of time. Then it dawned on me um, yesterday, <laughs> when I was having a really bad day at work, that I hadn't cast on for my Camp Loopy project. So, Camp Loopy time! I had ordered from our famous Loopy U some wonderful Madeline Tosh in the Tosh sock night blooms colorway because the prompt required you to knit with a um, yarn and base that you'd never knit with before and though I had purchased Madeline Tosh because of high recommendations from almost anybody who's ever used it I never knit with it I had given it away on the podcast so I said oh, I've got to this is perfect opportunity and it also had to be basically a, what I call a one skein wonder. So something that you can knit the entire thing with one skein. And it has to be knit by June 30th. So I'm running short of time. But this is what I had picked to knit. It's the Dolphin Cow. And FYI, tip to designers. This is by Bella Nordica. It's your name where you know advertise yourself it's okay to be proud of your projects don't make people look for your name your name should be just as big as the name of the project my personal opinion but be proud so I cast on hold on I've got stuff falling everywhere here last night the gorgeous Madeline Tosh in the night blooms and even though that other looked much more blue than it is in real life this is almost spot on it's a purpley mauve color with hints of gray Just lovely and here we go so this is also on my chowgu red lace size 6 uh 4.4 millimeter us 6 4.4 and uh right now it's just a big circle with lots of little cute stitch markers, also in purple, that came in this cute little jar, also part of my wonderful being spoiled by the wonderful Knit Psycho. And I need to add a few more, and so I've got my ringlets, my ringers, excuse me, 
I'm going to add a few more also from Knit Psycho to my project so that I'll have one every repeat. There's 14 repeats. It's not like I'm going crazy with stitch markers. So this is um, what I cast on last night while I had an adult beverage and watched some TV because I had had a bad day at work and that's my therapy. So that's what I did yesterday. Um, I then also, because the only thing better than knitting with wonderful yarn is buying more wonderful yarn. So <laughs> Camp Loopy's Project 2 prompt came out yesterday and you have to knit it between July 1st and July 31st. And this week is Project 2's sale week at Loopy U. So I went online last night and bought some skeins of a gorgeous brown and pink. So getting away from the blues and greens, I mean the purples and greens. So it's a brown and pink that I'm going to use to make a gorgeous pinwheel baby blanket. And um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with, with that, but I just, I think it'll be fun. Um, and I'm just very excited and I love browns and pinks. So that's what's going to happen with that right now. And um, there you go. I just, I didn't want to make a shawl. I didn't want to make a sweater. I definitely didn't think I'd have time to make a sweater in a month. And I already have one sweater on the needles. So that's what I decided. So these um, projects will probably be what you'll see me with um, next weekend if you happen to be at ZK. As far as um, fitness and nutrition, I have just fallen down the rabbit hole and need to get myself back up. Um, especially since I plan on walking a 5K next weekend. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Just so nuts. So, to Sally from Idaho. I love you. Can't wait to see you next week. Um, very excited, Rumi. Very, very excited. To Knit Psycho, thank you so much for spoiling me. I cannot wait to see you next week. To the fabulous Megan and Amy. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Super excited. And um, to my wonderful Ginger, who uh, is flying up there from the area, and Holly of Memphis, who's driving up there from the area. So looking forward to hanging with some Mississippi Memphis peeps while we're up in Minnesota. So next week will not be a podcast week. Next week is going to be fun times in person for many of you. And I plan on bringing my little camcorder and making some recordings and sort of diary entries to splice all together for you who are not able to attend. So talk to y'all next week. Bye.